Hey guys, Super Wildly here. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to solve human pose estimation on images task. This includes manual neural network assisted and automatic neural network annotation cases. Let's get started. So here I have my data. It is just a few images of people doing winter spots. Let's head over into the labeling toolbox. I'm going to start with manual annotation. Let me first grab a key points tool. And to start annotating with key points, we first need to create a key points class, which is exactly what this warning tells us to do. Let's follow this link. All right, so here is a class creation page. Here we need to select a class shape, which is going to be key points in my case. And now we need to create a key points template. Key points template is a skeleton structure that consists of nodes and edges that we will place over our objects. Let me create it in fast forward. All right, so my template is done. Now we need to type in a class title. And if we want to, we can type in a description for our class or assign a hotkey to it. I will not do that. Uh, let me change the color of the class. But before saving the class and heading over to the labeling toolbox, I wanted to show you that you can press on each point individually and adjust its label. So, for example, I can type in right shoulder, click save, and here it now says right shoulder instead of a just four but for demonstration purposes i will leave it as is let's click save now let's go to our data so now we're in the labeling toolbox and now we can actually use the key points tool uh, now we need to place our template over an object kind of like if you were to put a bounding box over it one point in the top left corner and the other one is in the bottom right corner now we can adjust the template a little bit. And as we see, it fit perfectly because I was making a template over this exact image. But now we can go over to another image like this one and place a template over this object. And as we see, it did not fit at all, but we can adjust all the points individually but in my opinion it is really inefficient and there are other ways that you can annotate images with key points 10 times faster and easier let me show it to you let's go to the ecosystem and for this case i need to deploy a neural network let's go into the neural networks page and here we see pose estimation key points tag let's click on it and here we have a surf with pose neural network application let's run it now we can configure which agent or computer to run this application on i will use this agent if you are interested in connecting your own computer to supervisely to use neural networks and such applications i will leave a link in the description to the videos where i show this process both for Mac OS and Linux and for Windows operating system. Now we can press run button. All right, so here we can select a model for human pose estimation and for animal pose estimation as well. I will choose a large classic model for human pose estimation because I have a GPU that has a lot of uh, memory. So let's press serve button. So the model has been successfully loaded onto our device. Let's go to labeling toolbox. All right, so now we need to launch an application that will allow us to apply a neural network inside the labeling toolbox. It is called NN image labeling right here. Let's press run button. All right, so here we need to select an app session of a neural network that is currently deployed onto your device. 
In my case, I have only one model, but if you have several of different neural network models deployed at once, you will have to choose one of them. Let's press connect button. All right, so now we need to place a rectangle over an object we want to work with. Let's grab a rectangle tool. And if you haven't created a class for your rectangle, you will need to do that. Right here, we can choose between those classes. Now let's place a rectangle over our object. And here we can now press apply model to region of interest button. So the model has finished its job and I think it did really, really good. We can select a person key points graph uh, class and here we can see and adjust uh, the points if needed. But in this case, the model did a flawless job. Let's see how the model performs or another image. Here we have an image of a hockey player. Let's do the exact same procedure. Uh, the model also works really fast. And as we see, again, it did a really, really good job. But let's say you have not five or 10 or 100 images, but 1 million images or even more. How do you work with all this data in an efficient way? For this case, we have another application, which I'm going to demonstrate right now. Let's go to the neural networks page. Uh, let's go into the pose estimation or key points tag. And here we have an application that is called apply detection and pose estimation models to images project. But in order to use this exact application, we need two neural networks deployed onto our device at once. One of which is a pose estimation neural network uh, like with pose and the other one is a detection model. For a detection model, I will choose YOLO V8 model. Let's deploy it onto the exact same computer. I will choose the medium sized model and the task, task type is object detection. Let's press surf button. Okay, so the model is now deployed. Let's go over to the neural networks page once again, go into the pose estimation or key points tag and run this application. As we see in the output, it says that the application is started, so we can press open button and go into the interface of an application. Here is the dataset selection. I already selected my dataset. Now let's connect to the detection model, which is YOLO V8. For this exact dataset and task, I only need to detect and estimate the poses of a person. So let's check this box and press select one class button. Here we can configure the detection settings and here we see a inference preview. I won't touch any of those settings, so let's press save detection settings button. Now we need to connect to the pose estimation model. In my case, it's with pose. And let's check the person key points and press the select one class button. Here, here we also can adjust the point threshold of a pose estimation model. And we see here an uh, pose estimation interest preview. Let's save pose estimation settings. And lastly, we can configure the output project name. I'm okay with this name. So let's press apply model to projects. And it's done. Let's see the results.
as you can see with the help of neural networks we've got really good precise annotations in a short period of time i think this is an amazing result and if you have a similar task that you need to solve i encourage you to upload your data to supervisely and try out for yourself if you have enjoyed this video please leave a like and subscribe to our channel thank you for watching see you in the next one